This is the Weather Extreme video for Tuesday morning. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather cold and clear this morning and uh, another windy day today with all eyes still on the system that used to be known as Sandy up in the northeast. Let's get in there and take a look. We'll check some of the Skycam shots around the network this morning. We'll start with the Skycam coming from Montevallo where it's clear and cold. There's a look at downtown Haleyville and way down south. Alabama's Gulf Coast is quiet. That's our Skycam at Gulf Shores. All right, big, big trough over the east, helping to funnel down very cold air for October. Uh, what's left of Sandy is still a potent system. Uh, looks like about 974 millibar low sitting on the Pennsylvania-Maryland border. Still awfully windy, and the, the stronger winds are west of the center based on the isobar packing there over parts of Ohio and uh, Michigan. Down into Kentucky and Tennessee, they're probably catching winds of uh, gusting to 50 miles an hour today. Blizzard warnings up for the mountains of West Virginia. Heavy snow will likely fall down into the mountains of uh, Western Virginia and North Carolina. Uh, maybe some snow down into Tennessee, around Bristol, Gatlinburg, Pigeon Forge. Don't think you'll see a lot, but they could see enough to maybe get the ground wide in grassy areas. And uh, down this way, that's a red flag advisory for southeast Alabama. That means potential for uh, forest fire danger because of the dry air and the uh, wind. Speaking of dry, no rain for the next five days. This is valid through Saturday evening at 7 o'clock. Again, all the nastiness is up in the northeast. And the snow projection, this is the chance of at least four inches of snow today. You can see the uh, high probabilities are centered over the mountains, the Appalachians, with the big bullseye again over West Virginia, where they are measuring the snow in terms of feet instead of inches. And a quick peek at temperatures. Thought we showed you the numbers this morning around the region. Uh, the colder one spot on the board is Jackson, Mississippi at 36 because over there the wind is a lot lighter. And we will see a lighter wind tomorrow morning, and I think we'll see the numbers varying a good bit, but I think tomorrow morning we'll probably see some of the colder pockets at freezing. Let's check the modeling. This is the OZGFS, valid at 1 o'clock local time this afternoon at 500 millibars. There's your big trough down below that. The uh, uh, system that used to be sandy is drifting to the west, should be around Pittsburgh. Here's a look at the RPM and kind of pick out the rain and the snow. And you can, you can see the snow potential right down the spine of the mountains, almost down into uh, north Georgia, but certainly uh, east Tennessee and western North Carolina. And the mountains could see some uh, snow flakes today. But we're dry as a bone. Sunny, breezy, and cool highs should stay in the mid to upper 50s. Tomorrow, what's uh, left of Sandy is uh, kind of sitting around Buffalo. The wind probably not as bad for us tomorrow. It'll be a sunny day. We start to warm up with low 60s. Thursday, mid to upper 60s. Thickness values coming up. And on Friday, we might touch 70. Sky will stay sunny. Starting off the weekend on Saturday, a nice day. Now, the GFS is running wild with temperatures. It's got the thickness values way up there and a high in the upper 70s. I think that's too warm. We'll use low 70s for now. And then the Sunday, hey, look at the front coming in here from the north and west. This is suggesting we might want to mention the chance of a shower as early as Sunday afternoon. This run is clearly faster. So this is kind of suggesting maybe a band of showers Sunday afternoon and Sunday night. Probably nothing heavy because the moisture is going to be limited. And there's Monday, and you can see troughing over the east and down below that. The surface boundary by midday Monday is south and east of Birmingham. So uh, based on the latest run here, it looks like we'll have a chance of showers Sunday afternoon, Sunday night, maybe into Monday morning. And of course, we'll fine-tune the timing. And then a week from today, we are dry and no cold air involved there. Uh, in fact, that looks very comfortable. We'll check the end of the forecast, November 14th. And uh, a little trough hanging back west of here. A strong upper high is over Utah. And down below that, that suggests maybe a chance of uh, uh, wet weather, if that's correct. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog next video here by 4 o'clock today. And don't forget to watch us on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 on the live stream of the television side. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless.